And now they're both going in. It's going to be Mausoleum, and Alice is going to be on the bite and bark. Now they're staying on brand with the graphic. So oh, Akram with the very quick bark kill. Akram going to go for that double explosive set. This is going to be fairly difficult for Nalus to deal with. Nalus just has to keep distance here and try to go for those sideways slap him and snipes. Like that one there. And there's a nice stun confirm into the grab. Nalus is going to try to keep bouncing off that bark. Bark kill count is now at four. Oh, you, you're keeping count, okay. Well, that makes that five. Oh, poor dog. I know. Even Okram will attack Bark mercilessly six times now. And Okram constantly getting those snipes in onto Nalus. It's going to put Nalus into rush range if Okram gets one of those nice rushes with the explosion finisher. It's going to jump up to try to get that. And that Tri Blast is going to end things off at 300, giving Akram game number one. 300 rush off of the magnificent seven dog kills from Akram. Look at that, he goes for him straight again. He knows that Nihilus wants to bounce. Nihilus trying to go for one of those bounce grabs, but just catching Akram. Uh, but Akram just catches that on with the deflect. But Nihilus catching Akram here with the rush. But those explosions are so good at stopping those bike deflect, those bark deflects, and bark gets knocked down again. Third Poor time dog. in this round. Bark wants those some those one twos from they cover so much area, but bark with the knockdown is going to give Nalus just enough time to block that rush. <sighs> gets. Both with the nade. And Alice trying to approach with the rush, and that is going to be a grab from Akram. <laughs> Hurricane. <laughs> so Akram continuing to ride the wave of momentum that Yetta has built up for their team. Nihilus now needing the reverse sweep to try and even things up. I wonder if Nihilus is going to stay for the bite and bark. Yes, he is. Hometown advantage, though. Buster Beach. All the locals will be cheering them on. Nihilus still going for, the, for those... Um, Light and Curve is going to keep struggling against the nade, maybe, but that is a nice curve grab. Just catching Akram on the side. Oh, now it's doing a lot better in here. Tries to go for a grab, a jump in grab, but Akram does get the punish on that. And now Nihilus gets the punish with a grab. Very patient from Nihilus there. One, two. One, two, one, two. But now, remember, what's one of the earliest things we learned in ARMS history? That even Akram can make a comeback. The answer is never say GG to him, Express, but it GG, looks like Alex was able to just barely punch through there. It could have gotten dicey there with that rush just about ready from Akram, you know how much damage a double explosion rush can do. Shout out, of course, to the dicey defer remote. And also shout out to the superior fan. No. Akram going for the rush in first with the jump to just maneuver around any way Nalas could knock him out of that. But now, now is putting an Akram into the corner, oh, and is just... actually going to confirm! I thought there was no way that could happen. Well done, Nihilus. Well done. Yeah, that is go just going to catch Akram on the jump. 
Now Ockham is really mercilessly well murdering poor doggos. That was such a good catch by Nihilus onto that, but now Ockram has the approach. And Bull not even needed. That is a huge grab. Huge grab from a huge man. But no huge Ackman. There will be no greatest showmans here. Ockram launches that rush straight off. Nothing doing. Tylus goes for the grab and eats 15 damage from the last Tri Blast. Nice. But grab. there's a nice. Yeah, just reading that dash from Ockram. And now Nihilus oh. doing a discount Ribbon Girl impression, bouncing his way through the air. Nels with some nice spark robotics there to dodge everything and gets a nice grab from downtown. Oh! Tries to go for the one two, but that is going to go off the explosions. And no! That is an unfortunate rush cancel there from that explosion. That's a second grab in short succession. Nihilus has to be so careful here. And another grab coming in from Akram. And now Nihilus is at rush range, is going to be so careful. Akram catches him on the jump! But Nihilus survives! Just barely! He's oh, playing this a bit risky tense. there with the jumps. Nihilus nearly gets the slap commander in. Has to be so careful on the approach because that Tri-Blast is deadly! Any of those explosions catch Nihilus and he's down! Nihilus gets a nice 120 damage and there's another Tri-Blast hit! tri hit! Wow! Ooh. Never say GG to a bite and bark! What? That was a crazy comeback! Yeah, Nihilus just, 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 just by the skin of his teeth. Now, to be what? fair, Nihilus was so calm and collected there. Held neutral, just kept out of the way of anything Ocarim was throwing. Yeah, knowing just exactly what Nalus had to do there to get back into this. Now we are going to game three here, so we're not going to have an even number of games. But and we're we going to have an even number of rounds. Game. Come on guys, get a double KO and go to the extra round. You gotta do it. Both players still sticking to their loadouts, obviously knowing what works for them. We still have not seen that Kablammer come out for Nihilus, but obviously that set that Nihilus has is going to be just enough. Oh, the oh, grab. The Bark Robotics getting that grab off the uh, bounce from Bark. Nihilus keeps picking up these little hits. They're not charged, but they are racking up. Akram already under half health. And there's another one too from Nihilus there to bring Akram into rush range, but that slap matter is going to bring Akram into red range. This could be trouble. Akram oh, slowly starting to approach. That slap nearly catching him. Akram has to be so careful. There's the rush, it's going to catch Nihilus' jump. And that is going to put Nihilus into range of maybe one or two more hits. That is a big explosion there. Nihilus has to get the opportunity to go for a rush or maybe a grab. But Akram calls out the grab. And Nihilus is going to fly straight down from the air. Uh, I feel like Nihilus was jabbing at that rush button when he went for the grab fake. But there's the grab reel. Just getting that off of Akram's dash. And now going for the rush in the air for a nice 330. And just like that though, Akram knocks him down. He's going to have his own rush available within seconds. Just misses the grab. Nice. Gets the shield up. Gets the stun. 
And then, oh, that's going to put Okram in red, but a quick slap down, a stun, and another slap, and Nihilus evens things up. Nihilus managing to get just the right sequence there to avoid a lot of damage from that red brass, and we are going into one last game, or possibly another uh, last round if we have a double KO. But Come on, guys, read the script. That was punishing Akrab's grab really nicely there with that bounce off bar to get space. And there goes for that tribal rush off of the landing. That tribal does cover so much distance. And there's the grab off the deflect. Nihilus with so much momentum in this last round. But Akram, can Akram turn things back with the big boy mode? I think we've seen enough to know that that's definitely a possibility. Explosions everywhere. Rushes Bar coming goes in. goes down. 225 Nihilus. damage, but Nihilus very close to having rush of his own. Only needs one, that's even half decent hit to land. Gets another bit of chip in there. One more hit from Nihilus will finish it off, but that is a big grab from Nihilus goes for the rush. It is just only going to chip a bit, but Oof. that grab is going to get blocked by Bite. But by Bark, the true savior here, allowing Nihilus to get a slap. Nihilus fighting back from the brink of extinction to take the set. Uh, never forget Bark there, just blocking that grab off after the rush. So we're down to Lini and Yetta. Versus Nihilus and Rap.